Hey y'all, my name is Kaylee Full and I'm a self-supported missionary at Auburn University. I'm 22 years old and I graduated from Auburn last May. So I've been in full-time ministry for this past year in Auburn, Alabama. Uh, what I mean by self-supported is that there's not one single church or organization that funds my salary to do ministry, but instead, um, God has called uh, different friends and family members um, and just members of local churches to give toward uh, my salary to do full-time ministry this year. It has been such a blessing to have a team of people to come alongside me in that way this year by giving financially and praying for the work that God is doing in Auburn. Um, so that's a little bit about that. I'm employed through the North American Mission Board and the local church through which I'm serving and reaching college students on Auburn's campus is First Baptist Church Opelika. Uh, First Baptist is located about 20 minutes from campus and I serve on a team with seven others. There are four coworkers who are my age and I have three amazing bosses, um, a women's associate, men's associate, and college pastor with our ministry who um, encourage us and lead us well as we do ministry at Auburn. Um, even though I'm serving on Auburn's campus, I'm serving through this local church because I believe God has given us the local church as his vessel to do ministry through. So I'm doing ministry on Auburn's campus with and alongside college students from within this body at First Baptist Opelika. So why do ministry with college students? Well, I think that the first few years that someone spends outside of high school, it's a time when they're deciding what they believe and why they believe it and how they're gonna spend the next several years. And so I think that college is a unique time uh, to introduce people to the idea that their lives are about something bigger than themselves. And what I mean by that is to introduce people to Jesus. And so uh, I'm doing college ministry because I believe that God can really work in this moment and change the trajectory of people's lives during the time that they're in college. So let me tell you a little bit about Auburn and Auburn University. Auburn, Alabama is a small town and Auburn University, right in the middle of it, has over 25,000 students that are attending it. Um, so Auburn is actually a very Christian culture. There are close to 40 active churches and campus ministries in Auburn in which college students are involved in. And there's even more ministries outside of this number that just don't have a large representation of college students. Uh, there's a local retreat called the Oaks Retreat. It's a three-day retreat for incoming freshmen to Auburn University that casts vision to them to spend their college years for the glory of God. Um, and about 15% of the incoming freshman class actually comes to this retreat on their way into Auburn. Um, and so overall, Auburn is a place where a lot of Christians uh, live and, and love and serve God. Um, and it's very much ascending city. And what I mean by that is uh, there are a lot of students who come to Auburn. Um, they have vision casted to them to spend their lives for the glory of God and not for themselves. And a lot of students um, live missionally with their lives, uh, but also end up leaving Auburn to go to jobs in different cities or uh, to go um, to cities or towns across the world in different countries to share Jesus with people who are far from him. So Auburn ends up sending out um, lots of different students all over the world to tell people about Jesus. And we praise God for that. So if there are so many Christians on Auburn's campus, why are we here proclaiming Jesus? Well, that's because even though Auburn is one of the more reached college campuses in the United States, um, out of the 25,000 students on campus, only five or 6,000 of those students claim to be evangelical Christians. Uh, that came out in the results of a survey that was taken a few years back. And so we, doing ministry, have a saying that we call the other 19,000 because there are roughly 19,000 students on Auburn's campus who do not claim uh, to follow Jesus. And so we wanna bring the gospel uh, to students who are far from God, even though they're surrounded by the news of the gospel, we want to invite every person, every student uh, to come and see, to come and follow 
uh, this Jesus who has changed our lives. Something else that's important to know about Auburn's campus is that there are students that come to Auburn from over a hundred different countries. Um, some of the countries that uh, bring the most students to Auburn are China, India, South Korea, Bangladesh, Nigeria, Saudi Arabia, Vietnam, Iran, Brazil, Nepal, um, and there are many, many more. Um, but the students that uh, come from other countries to Auburn very often have never heard of Jesus before. Uh, some of the countries I just named are places where uh, the gospel does not go forth freely, where Christians are persecuted, where there are not churches on every street corner, and where many have never heard of Jesus before or never personally known a Christian. Um, so there are over 3,000 students on Auburn's campus that are international students, and many of them have never heard of Christ before. My role as a campus missionary at Auburn University is spending my time in four different ways. Uh, the first is in prayer. Uh, we ask that God would bring his kingdom here and that he would glorify his name in Auburn. Uh, the second is in sharing Jesus with others. We invite others to come and see this treasure that we have in him. The third is in discipling students who are already believers, that they would grow in their walks with Jesus. And uh, the fourth is in serving. I serve within the local church, specifically within the college ministry at First Baptist Opelika. On a typical day, I may spend uh, three hours at First Baptist, two hours at a coffee shop, two hours on Auburn's campus, and two hours on walks with students. Um, the most important thing to know about ministry here is that it doesn't happen within the four walls of the church. Um, bringing the, the gospel to people uh, means meeting people where they're at, um, literally. So uh, we spend our days as campus missionaries um, in all the places that people are, whether that be uh, alongside students studying at coffee shops or um, having them over for dinner in our living room. Uh, we do life with people where they're living life and uh, that is often outside the four walls of the church. We believe that God calls us to share Jesus with people that we know and also people that we don't know. And so this past year, I've spent uh, every single Tuesday afternoon going on to Auburn's campus to share about Jesus with people that I didn't know at all. Typically, I would uh, go on campus at lunchtime, sit down with a couple of students, um, get to know them, and then just ask them what they believed about God or if they had any faith in anything. And I would share what I believed about Jesus. And uh, there are a couple really cool conversations that came out of those times, um, more than a couple. Uh, one conversation was with a student, I'm going to call her Gracie, who was from China, and Gracie had never heard about Jesus before. We um, shared with her, and her response was, wow, that is amazing. We asked if she'd be interested in reading the Bible together to learn more about Jesus, and she said yes. Another place that we share the gospel in, in Auburn is uh, just in apartment complexes with our neighbors. And last summer, a couple students from our college ministry uh, shared about Jesus um, with uh, a neighbor. I'm going to call her B. And um, B had lived in the United States her whole life, but no one had ever personally invited her to follow Jesus. And one on one, clearly articulated to her what Jesus has done for us. So when she heard the good news, she immediately decided she wanted to turn from her sin and follow Jesus. In addition to going with students within the college ministry to share the gospel on campus and in neighborhoods, a large part of my day is spent just meeting with students who are already following Jesus. Um, we spend our time together growing in knowledge of the Lord and in love for Him. Um, we spend time together in coffee shops or in living rooms, reading the Bible together, um, talking about um, our struggles with um, sin, and talking about how we can lay down every area of our lives to Jesus and follow him wholeheartedly. Here in Auburn, students are um, learning how important it is to share their faith with others for the first time. 
and then students are hearing the gospel who have never heard the gospel before and they're turning to follow Jesus. Students are who already are believers are growing in their knowledge and love for Jesus and they're giving every, every area of their lives to him. I'm so encouraged by the ways that God is moving here. Some things that I'm still asking God to do here in Auburn is to rescue students on Auburn's campus from um, finding their purpose in grades or in people's approval of them. Um, I'm asking God to bring lost students into the kingdom. I'm asking God to rescue students from depression or anxiety or feeling unworthy of love. I'm asking God to bring the gospel specifically to students who come from nations where they couldn't have heard about Jesus before. And I'm asking God to give believers boldness to share the gospel with their classmates and their friends and their neighbors. Some things I want for myself and my brothers and sisters here are to lay aside every weight and every sin that clings so closely, um, that they would see Jesus as truly worthy of their whole lives. They would obey Jesus with deep joy and not out of a sense of duty or to try to earn any approval or love from him. Um, I pray that believers here would rest in the grace of the gospel. And I wanna ask you to pray for these things as well. Like I said earlier, I'm a self-supported missionary and I have a team of people that come around me to pray that God would do things here in Auburn. And I believe it's through those prayers that he has um, been faithfully bringing people into the kingdom. So I would love for you to join me in prayer. And if you would like to give financially to what God is doing here in Auburn, I have an online giving page on the North American Mission Board's website and an email update list. I would love to keep you updated on how God is moving here.